South Indian town of Kanchipuram, Jayanda Saraswati, one of India's great holy men, sets out for the temple. For Jayanda Saraswati, the pontiff of South India, this will be a year of great celebration. 1993 is the year when his guru and teacher, the greatest living saint in India, enters his hundredth year. Beneath the portrait of Adi Shankara, the founder of their sect, Jayanda's guru, Mahaswami, is anointed with half a million pounds worth of gold which his followers have donated to celebrate the triumph of his spirit over the limitations of his mortal frame. Jayendra Saraswati, active head of the monastery, accompanies the deity on its monthly procession around the temple. This is the temple of Lord Shiva, god of destruction and the controller of the cosmic energy. He is the lord of the dance, whose drum beats time and order in a world threatened by impending chaos. At the age of 19, Jayanda Saraswati renounced his family and all worldly attachments, performed his own funeral, took a new name and became a holy man, a sadhu. When, I, when he sees me, look at me, some kind of electricity goes through that. It's, you can't express it. Express it's beyond expression. What kind of feeling you have got? That is what it is. But I feel he's got. I know. To some 200 million Hindus of South India, he is the living God. His only possessions are his staff, his saffron robe, and his water pot, the symbols of renunciation. Kanchipuram is in the southern Indian state of Tamil Nadu. It is one of the seven sacred cities of Hinduism and was the ancient capital of the Pallava civilization in the third century before Christ. Jayendra's monastery was founded here 2,000 years ago. Every day pilgrims stream into Kanchipuram from the nearby city of Madras to visit Kanchipuram's ancient temples and catch a glimpse of its holy men. Kanchipura Monastery is a centre of extraordinary devotion because it has three resident holy men. Mahaswami is the hundred-year-old saint. He appointed Jayendra Saraswati as the monastery's active head over 20 years ago. <laughs> And the devotion is the Guru Tavikan. And the Guru Tavikan is the Guru Tavikan. 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 The 
whilst his aged guru has retreated into deep and permanent meditation. Jayendra Saraswati has been running the affairs of the monastery. Mentally, he was Rumba higher planes there, Karava. Our saint in the day, Tanudi Anustan Angal Nadian, Tanudi Meditation Nadi, Melavara. Anna, even Mahaswami is Avatar Pursha. Avatar Pursha, now Vedanta Angal Shoulder, the Sabuna Brahman Sula, and the East Bhagavan, or Sagunama Rupama Terrier Sona, Azida, Sabuna Brahman, Azida, Nama Mahaswami. The youngest of the three living gods sits at the feet of his great master. He is the heir apparent to the throne of Kanchipuram. The postman leaves Kanchipuram main post office with the first delivery for the monastery. In the monastery hallway, the postman prays to Adi Shankara, the founder of the sect and one of India's great religious reformers. He appointed four disciples called Shankaracharyas, or teachers of his message. Jayendra Saraswati is the 69th in an unbroken line of succession stretching back 2,000 years to the founder. Jayendra Saraswati's chief administrator is in charge of an office of accountants who handle the huge annual turnover of the monastery. Devotees regularly donate part of their income to the monastery. We therefore request you all to come in the queue, one behind the other, so that all of you can have blissful darshan of Mahaparivar, for which you have come from far and distant places with families, bag and baggage. We, we want to honor you as best as possible. Therefore, we request and seek your utmost cooperation. Please, please, kindly remain. Please remain. Kindly remain. Wait, please wait. Let them move. Please, please wait. Go one behind the other and join the group. Please. please be slow. Kindly be slow. We request you all to be slow, calm and peaceful at the time of that. Don't get agitated in your mind. thousands of pilgrims, the high point is Darshan of Jayendra Saraswati. Darshan is a fleeting moment of closeness, an instant of wonder and awe at being near their living God, a chance to feel the radiance of his holiness. As a token, they are given some sugar crystals, vermilion and sacred ash, symbolizing devotion and detachment from worldly desires. Detachment Yoga, but the very carbon name of the Gara, same of the Rishkaraja, and then the Kutra, 
നമുക്ക് ശരിയാണോ നിർബന്ധമാണ് ചിന്ത അപേക്ഷയോടെ നമ്മൾ ബന്ധങ്ങളാവും അപേക്ഷയിലാകപ്പെടുമ്പോൾ എന്ത് ബന്ധം വരാതെ I feel a sense of rapture and fulfillment and this is Darshan. Scattered throughout the corridors and passageways of the monastery, teams of volunteer Brahmins working out of veneration for the holy men deal with the huge mailbag they receive every day. They reply to the dozens of wedding invitations, making little packets of holy ash and vermilion to send as blessings to the bride and groom. The secretary of the monastery social welfare scheme has come with a suggestion that they organize a free mass marriage for people from the untouchable caste. He recommends that they give the couples gold wedding necklaces and clothes. அந்த அளவுக்கு அவங்களாம் வராமல் ரொம்ப தாழ்ந்த வேலையை செஞ்சுட்டு தாழ்ந்த நிலையிலே இருந்துக்கிட்டு இன்னும் வளர்ச்சி பொருளாதாரத்துலேயும் ஆகட்டும் அவருடைய வேலையிலையும் ஆகட்டும் அவருடைய பழக்க வழக்கத்துலேயும் ஆகட்டும் அவருடைய பேச்சு குடி சாப்பாடு எல்லாத்தையும் ஆகட்டும் வளர்ச்சி அடையாதனால அவர் தீண்டாமல் நினைக்கிறமே தவிர தீண்டாமைங்கிறதே ஒன்று அவர்களுடைய பழக்கவங்களை வச்சு வந்தது வீட்டிலேயே மாதம் ஒவ்வொரு மாதத்துலையும் பெண்களுக்கு எல்லாமே ஒரு மூணு நாளைக்கு தீண்டாமல் கண்டுபிடிக்க முடியும் அதே போல பெரிய பெரிய வியாதி வந்தவங்கன்னா அவனை தொடக்கூடாதுன்னு டெய்லி க்ளவுஸ் போட்டுன்னு தான் தொடுறான் அதுபோல சமுதாயத்தில் கூட அவனுடைய பழக்க வழக்கங்கள் அவனுடைய நடவடிக்கை வழக்கங்கள் அவனுடைய சாப்பாடு நிலைமைகள் அவனுடைய வாழ்க்கை முறை இதெல்லாம் மாறி போய் தவறாமல் இருக்கிறதுனால அவனை தொட வேண்டாம் தூர வச்சு பண்ணுறாங்களே தவிர பாக்கி எல்லாம் கடவுளுடைய குழந்தைகள் தான் மனித சமுதாயம் மொத்தம் அதனால் மனித சமுதாய அடிப்படையில் பார்த்தா எல்லாம் ஒன்று அவனுடைய பழக்க வழக்கங்கள் அவனுடைய ஒரு வாழ்க்கை நிலை இதெல்லாம் பார்க்கும்போது They are outside the caste system, which divided society into separate groups. For reasons of ritual purity, the cleaners and scavengers were totally excluded and were literally untouchable. At the other end of the social scale were the Brahmins. Uh, I go by the name of Ramamurti. I am an Indian Hindu. And in terms of caste, I was born into the Brahmin caste. A young person becomes a Brahmin when he starts wearing the sacred uh, thread and uh, that is when he is said to be twice born. Th this is the second birth that makes him a Brahmin. Um, the Brahmins, uh, properly speaking, are those who are in quest of the Brahman, which is the absolute reality. <laughs> Brahmins are at the top of the caste system. They have always conducted the religious rituals and are believed to be closer to God. Since the scriptures were first composed 3,000 years ago, they have been memorizing the sacred texts, passing them on from generation to generation. They are the preservers of India's ancient culture. Like all Shankar Acharyas, Jayendra Saraswati was born a Brahmin, but on initiation, 
He ritually broke his sacred thread and is free of the hierarchy of caste. While everyone else goes to sleep after sunset, Jayendra Saraswati works late into the night. He sleeps for only three or four hours. He says that meditation soothes the tensions of his busy life and reduces his need for rest. Each morning, Jayendra Saraswati visits the temple elephants, gifts from wealthy devotees. They play an important part in the daily rituals. Washed, cleaned and decorated, the elephants are taken to the temple of Chandra Moleshwara. The secretary of the social welfare scheme arrives at the temple to make arrangements for the mass marriage. This temple to Lord Shiva is guarded by the sacred bull, Shiva's divine vehicle. children learn the scriptures. Worried by the fact that only three to four percent of the population are Brahmins and that many are now going into professional jobs, Jayendra Saraswati set up this and many other traditional schools to halt the decline in Brahmin culture. From the dwindling pool of trained Brahmin children in India, one boy must be recruited to be the next Shankaracharya. 
Vijayendra Saraswati was first spotted at one of these schools at the age of 15. This meant he had to abandon the love and affection of his family forever. Memory power is a plus point. Ingagitalam Padagrapakuda, Edo, Deva Bakti, and Mari, Inglavida, Adihima, our Kmato, Edo, Tanya, Tiasma, and Merla, and the Upper Nanga Baramar Karabin. There was three characters, there was Sian and Kataka, number thirty or Nala, there was a coup to Gurkara, putting both the other Taka Chikano, other way of Sunga and Melongir. You are in Le Pulva, eh? Sandia Chile, I thought, sort of the park, which is like Yena on the name and steward of the Nale, Pusha to Ta, Pundu to Ta, was the time of the Tama Robert. I love attachment to Utu Rava, three people to two attachment to Rakoda, the Kutia, which is the guy. I know our guru to do a terrorist is here, where they are out of Pudu and Vikram. Very, very, This year there are 15 applications for the mass marriage and Jayendra Saraswati leads the wedding procession to the temple of Shiva. Jayendra Saraswati knows that the parents of many of these brides would normally have to pay huge dowries, forcing already poor families into chronic debt. By sponsoring this mass marriage, he can insist that no dowries are demanded. simple ceremony of exchanging garlands and sacred necklaces, Jayendra Saraswati blesses the union. For the girl in particular, an arranged marriage is an anxious time, when she leaves the shelter of her parents' home to spend the rest of her life with a strange family. As always, there are moments of doubt. As part of the celebrations for Mahaswami's 100th anniversary, the women of Kanchipuram gather in the Shiva temple for Evensong.
These great temples were once built and maintained by royal patronage. But in modern India, many of the great temples can no longer raise the money they need and are beginning to fall apart. The young heir apparent has been the inspiration behind the plans to build a new Sanskrit university and the international library. These developments have already cost two million pounds, which have been raised in Mahaswami's name. A further half a million pounds worth of gold has also been donated for the ritual to be held on his 100th birthday. As Mahaswami's birthday draws closer, the crowds stream into the monastery to catch a glimpse of their living God. Day, the living God's door is opened so that his devotees can get a brief glimpse of him. She felt weakness. Then the weakness was so fast, she could not get up within a week. So we consulted our family doctor. He referred us to this cancer hospital because they had taken x-rays and all. I am short, briefly saying. The, as soon as he went to Tataka Memorial Cancer Hospital, he said she is having lung cancer. It is in the final stage. 
Doctor said, send her right. any moment she will collapse. Any moment. You, you, be you, you should be ready to send her up. But how did it go away, the cancer? That happen? only Mahaswami can tell you. That and is his blessing. Yes, he told me. I cannot believe this. It is a miracle. has been transformed in preparation for the ritual of Kanaka Abhisheka. Mahaswami is to be bathed in Ganges water and gold. A group of pilgrims brought holy water for the ritual all the way from the sacred river Ganges, 900 miles to the north. An area close to the stage was reserved for rupee billionaires and politicians. The Maharaja of Banaras and the Shankar Acharya from the northwest of India were given places of honor beside the silver throne. Crews from all over India came to record the event which was broadcast nationally as one of the religious high points of the year. In a nearby village, untouchables watch the event on their community television set. Finally, the moment arrives. Jayendra Saraswati and his young disciple make their way to the dais carrying the gold coins. Over the past weeks, more than 300 kilograms of gold have flooded into the monastery from devotees all over the world.
copy it this way. If you had something of slight value, you could probably wrap it up in ordinary paper. If you had something which was a diamond, you'd put it inside a velvet box. So the value of something which you have determines uh, what covers that particular thing. And the highest kind of uh, abhishekam you can do for him is with gold. Uh, of course, it is not a very comfortable process to sit there and have all these uh, coins for right from the red down and wear spectacles and it gets inside between the eye inspector you want to shake this thing off. But I think uh, when you are in that high position, you have to submit to these hardships to which you are subjected out of pure veneration by your devotees. <laughs> Even in the midst of celebrations, Jayendra Saraswati keeps in touch with the political developments. The English language press is translated for him by his secretary. Jayendra Saraswati is very concerned by the political repercussions of the Ayodhya incident. At the end of 1992, Hindu extremists held a rally at Ayodhya in North India, demanding that the Badri Masjid Mosque, built on the alleged site where the Hindu god Ram is said to have been born, should be rebuilt as a Hindu shrine. They also opposed new laws, which they claimed favoured Muslims unfairly. The crowds went out of control and demolished the old mosque. Hindu-Muslim riots then flared across India, leaving 2,000 people dead. The floodgates of Hindu chauvinism were opened, and secular democracy nearly collapsed, along with India's tolerance towards other religions. <laughs> In an unprecedented move, Jayendra Saraswati left the monastery for a meeting of all four Shankar Acharyas of India. He had to travel for three days, from Madras on the east coast to the monastery of the Shankar Acharya of Sringeri on the west coast. The Shankaracharyas are the four most influential spiritual leaders in Hinduism. In the past they have kept a low profile in national politics, but now their authority is being hijacked by a new kind of radical Hindu politics. The Shankaracharyas had to agree a united stand or lose their power and influence. This will be the first meeting of the four Shankaracharyas in recorded history. After a day of private discussion, they held a press conference. Sarve pi sanatana dharma vilambinaha ayodhyayam rama janma humau bhavyam bhradakaram rama mandiram nirmatavyam iti atitaram samihante they told politicians not to whip up divisive religious feelings and warned Hindus against becoming unwitting tools in the tactics of divide and rule. They wanted the government to give control of the disputed site to a committee of religious leaders. They claimed that all gods are one. 
and all paths lead to God. Nevertheless, they insisted that a Hindu shrine should be built on the remains of the old mosque. India's living gods were united in demanding that politicians had no right to meddle in religious affairs. The next morning, Jayendra Saraswati went down to the banks of the Holy Tunga River for his ritual bath. His involvement in politics does not hinder his daily meditations, but every moment of his life belongs to his devotees, and even his moments of introspection are public events. Four months later, the Hindu right-wing party suffered a setback in the state assembly elections. Having reached its high water mark, the tide of religious chauvinism seemed to recede. At the end of the most eventful year in the history of the monastery, on the 7th of January, 1994, Mahaswami died. headed by the Prime Minister, arrived for his burial. His body will be buried sitting in a pit of salt, as if in meditation. His soul, enlightened and purified by his life of penance, is now free from the cycle of death and rebirth to become one with the cosmos. <laughs> Malamutro, 
ரொம்ப வீடாக போனது வேறு ஏதாவது சரீரத்தை பிடிச்சிக்கும் ஆனால் இங்கேன்னு போகிற ஒளி எங்கேயும் பிடிக்காது பஞ்சபூதத்துலேயே கறந்துடும் ஆகினால் அதுக்கு பிறப்பு கிடையாது இறப்பு கிடையாது ஒருத்தர் பிடிக்கிறதும் கிடையாது பஞ்சபூதத்தோட அப்படியே கலந்துடும் அதுதான் பிரம்மபுக்தி அதான் மோட்சம் அப்படிங்கிறது In years to come the site of his grave will be a source of spiritual power for all his followers. Their devotions will recall his soul back to his final resting place. In India the full moon brings a new season. Another turn in the cycle of life, a new phase in Shiva's cosmic dance. As the moon rises to the peak of its cycle, the rules of religious dogma dictate a period of cleansing, retreat and inner search. Jayendra Saraswati has become an important political figure in India. He has inherited the spiritual mantle of the Mahaswami of Kanchipuram, India's most revered saint, and an unbroken tradition of 2,000 years of spiritual leadership. Now, he must lead his sect into a new millennium. 